few things have fascinated us more than rubbish. Can you believe it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've looked at how often rubbish is collected, how it can help us, and we've even found out what it's like to live next door to 18,000 tonnes of the stuff. So there's the garden, and look at the size of that. Oh, that, that was an unbelievable it, film. It's still there. It's still it there. Is, it is, it is. And tonight, Dom's tackling the growing problem of fly tipping as he sets out to prove that one man's litter can actually be another man's treasure. Rubbish. Tons and tons of rubbish. Oh, it's terrible. Look. This is Haringey in London, where they're cleaning up more than 70 cases of fly tipping every day. It's going up year on year. It's completely unacceptable. It's time people faced up to their filthy habits. So we've got a plan. We're going to clear the rubbish up, clean it up, and see if we can sell it back to them. I would buy that, you know. It looks fabulous, man. I'll buy that. Any day, any time. First up, we're out and about with Haringey's Fly Tipping Cleanup Squad, which gets 26,000 calls a year. This is household stuff. I mean, this could simply be recycled. All they're going to do is just put these in the correct bins. Joining them today, recycling and salvage expert Liam Collins. He's here to help us change people's minds. While a lot of this is only fit for the dump, other stuff, like this frame, could have a second life. I look forward to doing something really nice with that. I like the shape of those chairs and that leg's quite nice. I think we could actually make it in some kind of shelving unit. Fly tipping in Haringey alone is costing the taxpayer three million a year. And Liam reckons it doesn't need to be that way. With a little bit of creativity and a little bit of thought, you can actually make a very mundane, worn object into something really useful. Right, well, there's a challenge for both of us. You see if you can turn some of that rubbish into something sellable, and I'm going to see if I can actually sell it to the people around here. Yeah, I think I can do that. While Liam gets to work fixing, finessing, and upcycling our fly-tipped rubbish, I'm setting up somewhere to shift it. Time for a chat with Alison Ogden Newton from Keep Britain Tidy. Why is it going up? Is it because the penalties aren't severe enough, or is it ignorance from people? I think we're seeing a growth of people who are actually um, criminal fly tippers, so they're picking up rubbish from domestic households and just dumping it. And also, I think people are getting in a bit of a pickle. We're seeing charges being introduced at local authorities, and so maybe they're turning to fly tipping as an alternative. What's the answer? We'd like to see a thousand pound fixed penalty notice. Um, and we'd like to see the enforcement of what can be up to £50,000 fine if you'll get taken to court for fly tipping. So people need to know that you can't just dump what you like where you like. We're going to present the good people of Haringey with their facelifted junk. But will they want it? This old fire extinguisher is now a stylish umbrella stand. Our fly tipped power toolbox is a quirky spice rack. An unwanted chair is now a desirable throne. And look at that old frame. Liam really has been busy. I recovered that with some beautiful material and gave it a really nice lick of paint. Uh, it looks brand new. Well, absolutely. You know, just a little bit of creativity and see what you can produce. I recognise this as an electric jewel box. That's absolutely right. And you put Velcros in the back of these jars. Yeah. OK. It's an amazing thing, isn't it? Something quite simple as a drill case can become a lovely little shelving unit. Not to everyone's taste, but again, it's quirky, but it works, doesn't it? It does work. It's a 100% honest upcycling job. We're actually going to give this stuff away, but not before people have told us what they think it's worth. Time to open up shop. Ta-da! All this junk has been flighted, but I'm concentrating on the stuff we collected right here. How much do you think it's worth? 15 quid. 15 quid? 50. 50. 30 quid. There you go, Holly. It's all yours. Stick something in a charity box. Will do. So, they'd pay up to £50 for the mirror. But what about that spice rack? What would you be prepared to pay for that? Not much. Would you like that to take home to mum? No. <laughs> if you saw that in the market, how much do you think it'd be marked up for? Fiber. Yeah, OK. Thanks, guys. Bye. Another satisfied customer. What do you think it's worth? £250? Yeah. £250. So with a bit of TLC, someone's old junk is now someone else's treasure. There you go. Seriously? Yeah, why not? Look 
can't believe somebody thought the chair was 250 quid. That's amazing. Seeing all this stuff going to a new home is great, but don't half beg the question. If so many people like it, why are others dumping it? That's too crazy. See, the mirror and chair were one thing, but the spice rack, I'm not buying that. No, 